Okay, so my hair used to be long. Um, and I had a baby a little over a year ago. I have five. But the most recent one was about a um a little over a year ago. And then Tanika, you're breaking up. Is oh. she breaking up for y'all too? Uh-oh, I think you might have to go somewhere where your reception is a little better. Okay, is it better now? Yes, I think it's better now. Keep going and let's try. Okay, so um, a few months ago I noticed my hair was thinning, and um, I asked Whitney to take a look at it. Well, <laughs> This has become like a Whitney commercial. <laughs> yes, because I have always lost a little hair right after pregnancy from hormones and but this was different than any other time. So when Whitney you know what? I'm glad you're mentioning this, Tanika, because I saw a bunch of comments that I wasn't able to get to about postpartum. And the reality is every time, well, me too, but every time you had a baby, you would lose the hair right here at the crown of your hair on either side. Yep. Yep. But this time it was like throughout. Mm -hmm. And that was different for me. And so when Whitney looks at my hair, she says it, lo it looks like I had a vitamin deficiency. And so then that made me think for a minute, and I realized that I had stopped taking my prenatal vitamins, but I was still nursing. So my body was using all of my vitamins for the baby yep. and not for me. The baby so, took all you had and left. Yep. Yeah. She was left out. Yeah. So I did decide to just go ahead and cut my hair to a healthy length <laughs> and try to grow it back out but i it haven't looks had my really hair great. short in like probably 15 years yes and so what is your plan for growing your hair back out i don't know because i'm kind of liking it short right oh, now oh okay well i should ask what is your plan for getting it back out um well even though my hair is straight i priscilla will mm -hmm. tell you i don't do a lot to it you do not. i don't i don't wash it very often I'm not going to say how often I don't wash it. Um, it really is a long time, though. But it's it, a long time. It's a long time. I literally smell it, and if it still smells okay, and my scalp is still okay, then I just keep rolling. And see, I think this is a mental hurdle. I'm going to have to go close the door. Somebody left the door open. But this is a mental hurdle that a lot of um, people have to get over that you're not supposed to be washing your hair every other day or every week or it's when your hair needs to be washed because the more you're manipulating it and combing it and washing it and blowing it out and all that, the more damage that's going to come to your hair. Yep. And somebody asked if my hair is natural. Yes. If it gets wet, you will see the whole shrinkage situation happen. Yes. So for, I, I told, I don't know if you've been on here, girl, we've been on here for like almost two hours, almost two hours now. And I just told the whole natural hair story and that I did the big chop. For those of you that haven't seen it, if you want to go back and watch the whole IG live or in parts, because it's been so fun, but it has been long. Mm -hmm. um, Kanika, I mentioned earlier, I don't know if you were on, but I mentioned that you did it different than I did. That I chopped it all off. But my brother, who Kanika is married to, my brother was like, oh yeah, you can go natural, but you ain't going to cut your hair off like my sister. Did. And you know, actually, every time I mention going natural, he started getting nervous. Thought the only way you could go natural was to do the big chop. See, and I think that's a misconception a lot of people have. They think you have well, to cut it all off to go natural. So could you describe what you did to go natural so people can see there's another way? So I basically just grew it. I did not cut my perm off all at one time. I probably cut it shoulder length, and then I would try to let it grow out a little bit at a time. But I was very careful with combing out my hair anytime I washed it. I mean, like, it took a long time to comb it out because really the breaking point is where your natural hair meets your relaxed hair. That's usually when it's going to snap off. And honestly, a lot of people discouraged me from trying to do it that way. They were like, oh, it's not going to work. Your hair's going to get really thin. You're going to have to cut it. But thankfully for me, I was able to grow my hair for about 18 months before I cut off the entire relaxed part. So did you just keep trimming the bottom as your hair grew out? You just kept slowly trimming the bottom? I did. Okay. 
And did you find that a lot of your hair was snapping off at the breaking point and that you just had to relax yourself and know that you're headed toward a goal, so it's okay to watch that relaxed hair sort of snapping off? It did, but it, it wasn't that bad. But I was very careful with it, and I still was not washing it that often. Okay. So I think that yeah. helped. Well, Somebody asked me about working out. Yeah. So I will say that I usually wear a headband around the edges to try to at least keep them compressed somewhat. <laughs> and then I usually put it um, the rest in a ponytail or a bun or something like that where it won't, where the edges won't get wet and curl okay. up. Okay. Okay. Any other hair wisdom that you would like to share with us while I'm doing this once a year hair mm -hmm. line that, uh, that I do every now Hey, Amber Riley. Oh, my gosh. Amber Riley is saying she shaved her head three times. Wow. I need to get her up on here to see what that situation was like. You do. <laughs> so any other hair wisdom you need to share, sister-in-law, beloved? What other hair? I think um, I think you just have to do what works for you. Like, I have three girls, and, of course, all of their hair is natural, and they all have a lot of hair. So for me, like a lot of people, Say, I didn't know you were natural or you always wear your hair straight. And usually I do wear my hair straight because I need my hair to not take a lot of time because I have to worry about these girls. So um, I would just say do what works for you in a healthy way. Yes, in a healthy way. Because I do think there is a misconception that natural hair is going to be easier. Right. It does not mean that. <laughs> it just means it's different. And you have to be just as attentive. You have to do what works for you, um, but you have to you have to know that it doesn't just mean now you don't have to do your hair no more. No, you still do. So you have to decide what works for you. And in your case, like you said, you got three daughters, all my nieces, all my yummy nieces. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, and someone asked, what do I do with my hair at night? Yes, I do wrap it. And like Priscilla said, I'm not putting my, I, I don't remember last time I put heat on my hair. I guess when I washed it and blow dried it the first time the last time I did it. So, like, during the day, if my hair starts to frizz up or something like that, then I will moisturize it and wrap it at night. And usually yes. that will straighten it back out. So well, there you go. I never understood that because my hair don't straighten back out. Once, <laughs> once there's a frizz on the way, it's all the way on the way. Thank you, Kanika. having the best time so um he's still not getting off uh let's see here you guys feel free to get off whenever you need to let me see if i can find um my friend amber riley amber totally declined this if you can't come in right now amber said she shaved her head three times so i'm extremely interested to hear about this situation so let me see if amber's coming amber might be busy or indisposed at the moment he's like <laughs> Amber declined. Amber is like, don't play me. I'm not coming up in here without without um, without um, any sort of uh, future or, or notice ahead of time. So anyway, I hope that you guys have been, um, have had fun. I hope so. Um, there, you know, I, I see all of you that have sent me requests because I normally come on and pray for random people and get to meet strangers and pray with you. Um, I'd love to be able to do that, but this time it was all about hair and we happened to have some friends to have conversation with along the way. Amber, I see you girl. It's okay. It's okay. You and I will talk at another time. Maybe we can talk about hair another time. So did we answer about workout and hair? Um, I, I will, I will say that I don't sweat a lot in my head when I work out, so I don't worry about it as much others do. And one of the ways to help keep your edges laid down is to make sure that you're wearing something over that hairline as you work out so that the humidity or the sweat doesn't uh, get to that. And then you basically leave that there while you're showering and everything and you don't take it off until your hair is sort of dried again. And then when you take that off, you'll still see that your edges are laid. Um, and then we're going to have to talk to somebody that sweats a lot in their head when they work out and ask them what they do. I don't sweat a lot. So when I work out, usually I just keep on, keep on moving. So I'm sorry, I don't have a better answer for that. Um, lots of questions here about skin care. <laughs> That's something for another day, isn't it? Maybe we'll have to do that uh, next time. T. Dot Ann, I don't. You don't want this to end, girl. Neither do I. I'm having so.
so much fun. This has been great. Um, do I ever swim? The answer to that is yes. I know I've been, my husband is like, you've been in here forever. Yeah, it's been two hours. Do you need me? You don't, you don't need me. Are you sure? I'm just hanging out. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. He's saying I'm missing our whole life. No, she didn't. Yes, she was here. No, she didn't. Oh, Andrea came by to see me. Andrea. Oh, Andrea was here. Why didn't you see me? You over here. Andrea, you came by my house. I, I, well, I was talking to Tanika, my sister-in-law, and Whitney, and, and about and like 2,500 friends. And it, it just went a little longer than I expected. You need me, babe? Wait a minute, don't leave. Don't leave. All right, y'all. So, I'm so dramatic. Okay, y'all. I hope that you had fun. I'm going to get off and tend to my family who still live here, apparently. Um, hope y'all had fun. I'm going to see how to save this, okay, so that it will stay in my IGTV situation. And um, hopefully other friends who might want to watch it can watch it in stages because it's really